Hi everyone, hope you're well. So it is Saturday the 18th of May 2013. So uh, today I've been kind of distracted all day again. Um, I did actually finish researching stuff for my Minecraft show. My hair's a mess, I've just realised. Um, I did actually finish researching my Minecraft show for this week and I've actually got enough stuff to make a show. And I spent a uh, maybe a couple of hours sort of like trying to kind of messing about with that just sort of like tweaking my deciding exactly which things I wanted to talk about and then trying to motivate myself to actually make the show but um after a while I decided it was a waste of time I wasn't actually gonna get myself to do it and if I can't force myself to do it then it would seem a bit flat so I'll try and uh, do it tomorrow um and that's what I have been doing when I have been making shows uh, in recent months is that I, I try and get all the research done on the day before and then the next day it feels really easy to just go ahead and record the show and edit it because the actual making the show is the research of the show takes a lot of time, takes you know a couple of hours or longer and then the actual making the show it takes a, it doesn't take as much time but takes a bit more. Uh, maybe only takes two hours max, but um, takes a lot of kind of effort and concentration, basically. So it's nice to split it between two days now nowadays because it just makes it a lot easier. It doesn't feel like as much of a hassle. Anyway, so yeah, having wasted some time trying to motivate myself to make it today, I just realised it was not going to happen. So um, I did, decided to stop that and to actually do some work on my uh, my game instead, my dice game that I've been working on this week, and um, kind of at the expense of all my other ideas. But it's that's the thing. I kind of want to get something done and finished, and this is such a simple idea that I think I should. I we really just need to get it done. So um, this evening, I've kind of been looking at kind of um, researching possible uh, options for getting the dice manufactured, like possible different ways um, of either having them laser engraved or having uh, burnt wood or, um, you know, all sorts of all sorts of different things, whether to have, like, see-through dice or not. And um, some of them, naturally, some of the options are more expensive than others. And um, so that's kind of a consideration as well and um trying to trying to get uh, uh, there's a there's a but there's a bunch of companies I'm going to need to email because um so sort of like the face on the face of it you kind of get a lot of ooh custom dice but it's all aimed at directly to the consumer so it's like people wanting like dice with their names on for wedding gifts and stuff you know and uh when you want to sort of like make a game and you you want to have a lot you know you want to like order a bulk loads of dice so that you can sell them on to the players um that's what i need to know but that kind of thing you need to actually email the people and get a quote and talk to them about um how much it would cost and what quantities and stuff and there's only so many companies that seem to do that and and also i'm kind of slightly there's there's quite, there's more in America than there is in the UK which would make sense um so I'm kind of leaning towards UK just for you know obvious um simpler reasons of you know having it delivered to me would cost less um and then in terms of like me posting to customers it would be um that wouldn't be so bad because they're they're paying you know they can they can pay for the postage kind of thing. So anyway, um, so it's quite it's quite long winded. That's it's kind of boring, but I also I find I don't know sort of like looking up uh, prices and stuff is something I've done quite a lot for various business ideas. So it's um, in some ways it's boring, but in some ways it's very simple to kind of research so it's just a case of actually finding companies and then just uh finding um finding the correct email of you know who to email for a quote on their website 
and um, yeah, so it's it's not too bad. It's quite exciting, and it's you know I'm enjoying. Um, I'm quite excited about this project, but I, I kind of need to work out because obviously I don't really want to like order a thousand sets and then not sell any. So, I mean, the obvious obvious thing to do is to get like a proper fine, like proper you know solid quote and everything. Um, I don't know if you can like finalize a quote and get them to promise or something. I don't know, but and then. Um, and it, and in a lot of cases for like really good quality, then it's kind of like you have to order a large amount, and so find out what that amount is from the company I want to use, and then, aka the cheapest slash best quality, and um, and then maybe Kickstarter it, and then that I've seen I've seen a couple of other dice games on Kickstarter, and that's exactly why it's because you have an idea for a dice game, but you need custom dice. So it's very expensive to get, at least for a normal person with no money, to get um, a bunch of custom dice made. But if you can kickstarter it and get the money up front, then that means you have the money up front to get them made and then just sell them to the people who bought them, you know, by supporting the kickstarter. And, and then hopefully have a bit of profit left over where you can then carry on you can then make another run up front for further sales and stuff and then just go from there which is cool um so that's a possibility i might be doing a kickstarter at some point um and then as for the kind of flash demo and game testing of it i haven't really actually looked at that today so most of my day was spent messing about with um my minecraft show research and kind of i don't know youtube's kind of just really annoying for a lot of people, I think, at the moment. And um, and the Minecraft shows, like, there's so little news at the moment, and it almost feels like, well, it's not as often, but I don't know. I just don't feel motivated to make it. Just It feels, it feels annoying making it, you know, when it's like, it's because of the new YouTube layout as well, it's like, doesn't get as many views as it used to and stuff as well, which is disheartening and I know really a couple of thousand views is a lot of people and I should be really happy about that because that is really cool but at the same time when you have a show that used to get like 6,000 views within the first week and now it gets 1,000 views within the first week is not very motivational it kind of feel, you know anyway but I'll probably I should be I should say I should be just making it tomorrow. And there is, there is a bunch of pretty good videos this week. Oh, that's one thing. I was thinking of kind of changing it to make it just about the videos, maybe. Um, I guess I still should report the news. But the thing with the news is reporting the news uh, used to work really well in the daily, when it was daily, because it was as it happened and as people were searching for it and as people wanted to know about it that day and then my video would be up and there um so it feels a bit like i could do sort of like news when it happens like boom news flash video this happened today and it wouldn't necessarily be daily it would just be on the days when stuff happened and then there'd be a weekly show with me showcasing the videos uh which I have a name for, which someone's suggested once, which I think is a really good name. Um, so, yeah, I might I might end up splitting it up that way. And I'd have the fan art thumbnail thing on the on the kind on the video show, featuring stuff. Cause that'd be sort of like community stuff going on in the community this week, and a news show. The thumbnail could be related to whatever piece of news it was which would make a lot more sense anyway those are my thoughts at the moment but tomorrow i'll just put out a normal minecraft show and then i'll think about changing it afterwards although i might even the news in the show tomorrow is the snapshot news from two weeks ago so i might not even mention it it might just be videos um anyway this this video is running on even though i've run out of things to say so i'll leave it there um, I hope you're well and I hope you're having a good weekend 
and I will see you tomorrow.